So yesterday was kind of a failed experiment. Um, prior, I was using just a basic stereo for my sound for my Proj Menage. So I upgraded and I went to Best Buy and I got my 5.1 surround sound, my Sony, and um, came home, hooked it up, calibrated it and everything, and it just sounded horrible for some reason. One of the speakers didn't work and I don't know, it's just it was a bitch just placing all the speakers the right way and there was cords running everywhere and blah, I just didn't like it. So I returned it and um, I got this thing. Yeah. I just bought a box. What'd you think? Pretty cool, huh? Nah. This is um my little base station thing for my home theater in a box soundbar. I figured this was way easier. They had these on display over at Best Buy and um I tried it out and it sounded just as good as the 5.1 and I was kind of blown away. So I figured uh, I'm in kind of a dinky two bedroom apartment. I don't really need 5.1 surround sound anyway. And this had everything I was looking for anyway. It had the three HDMI inputs. It had, um, you know, the uh, RCA line ins. It had everything. So I picked this up and I couldn't be happier. But for the person that asked me to do a video on this, on my little setup, um, I'm going to kind of explain a little bit what my previous setup was and then show you what my new setup is. Okay, so follow me on this. So since I was using a stereo, just a basic stereo, let me show you. This was the uh, stereo that I was using. It's got two speakers and a sub. And um, yeah. Now just using the basic uh, red and white RCA input right there to uh, hook up all my sound because unlike most projectors which uh, if I could explain it the best way to someone that's like not really informed about what a projector does and is and represents a projector isn't really like a plasma TV. It's not like my Samsung where it's got all the inputs and a route sound and a ladder trap. It's more like a computer monitor in that it's just a display. That is it. Don't expect anything else from it but that. So you're going to have to figure out a way to route sound. Luckily with this projector, which is kind of rare in the projector world, it's got an audio pass-through. So if you have basic stereo speakers like the ones that I have, which most people freaking do, right? Um, then you can just uh, hook it up through a 3.5 millimeter Y cable, which is that thingy right there that I have hooked up to my MP3 player. Oh man, I need more light. See right there, red and white to 3.5 millimeter to my MP3 player. But I had this hooked up to my projector where instead of the MP3 player, it was just in my projector. And the red and white was to my stereo. So basically, if you wanted to, you could just use that audio out as a headphone jack, too. Cool little side effect. But um, that was my setup. Now my new setup is a lot better because uh, before since I've got like all these other extra things right here I've got like uh, my laptop that I like to hook up through HDMI I've got my PS3 that I like to hook up through HDMI I've got my cable which I, I like to hook up through HDMI I, I have all those different things but every time I ever want to switch between them I have to manually get up and yank this cable out and then put in the cable of the thing that I actually want to use. That was just a big pain in the butt. But they got these basic labels to give you an idea of what you have hooked up to your stuff. Like right here, that's a BD stands for a Blu-ray disc, which I just have my PS3 hooked up to. DVD, I don't use that. 
sat cat TV cable TV I've got my cable hooked up through that um, SA CD CD I've got my mp3 line in hooked up to that and uh, it all just works out so great so great I'll show you a little bit about how awesome it is so you can be a little bit impressed about my ghetto home theater oh but before I do let me just show you the inputs on the back real quick so you guys get a better idea it's kinda dark back here see uh... this right here is how the um, sound bar is hooked up so it's a 3.1 I guess if you can call it a surround sound unit so that's pretty cool and this is my cable right here this is my PS3 right here and this is uh, the output to output that straight up to my little Proj Minaj and then on top of that you've actually got two red and white line in so you can do whatever you want with that so if I had two 3.5 millimeter cables which I've got another one around here somewhere I could have one for my mp3 player and one for whatever else I want. I could have the other just to plug my phone in so I could, you know, route sound. It's kind of cool. In fact, let me just show you a little bit about how This is going to look kind of shitty because the lights are on, but this isn't really a picture demonstration. This is all about the sexy audio quality that I'm getting from this basic setup. Alright, so right now I'll just show you first that um, the 3.5 millimeter is like my little jukebox. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So let me uh, play a little something for you. Uh, dang, dang. Let's see. Let's see, that's a video. Since I'm playing that source, I'll hit. SACD. And see, the cool thing about that is whatever input that you're using right now, like if I'm using the TV or the Blu ray disc input for my PS3, if I'm just using this to play like my Modern Warfare 2 or whatever, and I switch to the MP3 player input, there's no video for that, right? Right. So it's just going to play the audio, right? Right. So it's going to stay on this screen while I'm playing Modern Warfare 2. And when I switch it to the audio from this, it's going to play the audio from this, but the video from that. So it's like background music for my video games. It's pretty cool. But anyway, let me uh, play a little song, song for you. I'm going to turn that up. Playing this right on here. And if I want to switch it up, watch this. I got my Droid 2 here, and of course, any phone, any little device that you use, or whatever, is going to have that 3.5 millimeter head jack, headphone jack, on the top. So, dang a dang, unplug this sucker, plug in this sucker. shaky cam and look what I got let me go to my music videos this is actually my wake up call because this this chick is so hot play a video through this play the audio through the other thingamajig No 
bold at you. It's pretty cool. Booties look like this size. Yeah, cool. Just for the hell of it, because I think it sounds so cool. This uh, Eminem freestyle. I'm going to play the second part for you. Where he just breaks it down. Here we go. You win, you think you ball, I'm calling it. I'm throwing up balls, but I'm going to pour it. Throw that in the kitchen, might hit your mom with my armor, but you got egg on your face. Now watch me drop with a tonic. I should be strapped to your chest of a kamikaze. Bitch, I'm as bad shit as all. See, it's obvious you can tell right off the bat. No pun intended, but come any closer, I'll bite off your head. Try to give me the fingers, kind of like giving a spider the wet. I'm just going to spin it and try to use it to my advantage. I catch a fly in that bitch. You think you fly? Also, kind of cool um since i have it plugged in through there i've been using this as like a gigantic speakerphone like i called my mother today uh which one is she she's the cat see right here i got like the setup for my contacts she's the cat trapped in a blender she's an old cat lady But I'm not going to call her right now because uh, she's annoying. I don't call my mom unless I have to. But I'll call something else just to give you kind of an idea. Um, who could I call? Who could I call? Oopsie. I'm just pushing buttons now. I will call 611. Just to give you an idea. Yeah, you hear it through there? That's cool. Sorry, I'm excited. That is coo coo. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Para español, no prima la estrella. Main menu. For balance, payments, and usage, press 1. Voicemail, password reset, upgrade date, activate or suspend the phone. Friends and family, 2. Technical support, 3. All right, so you basically get the idea that it's awesome. It's an awesome basic system that's uh, awesome, surprisingly awesome, that I had no idea would be awesome. Love it. It's just, and the biggest feature that I should be talking about, but I haven't been, <laughs> is um, the sound. The sound just sounds so good um, on my stereo that I was using. Uh, it just, like, the second you turn it on, you, like, hear a it's like that, and then you hear like white noise and everything like in the background, and then <sighs> it's just not a very clean sound. But um, on here, I mean, the sound is just so clean and crisp, and a lot of other words that I could use that make it sound really good. Um, yeah, so this isn't going to look that good right now. But um, I started my own little private match on Modern Warfare, so I'm not going to just be killed, but just so I can kind of demonstrate the sound for you. Um, check it out. I'll mute it. And just listen to like everything, everything. Just like the glass breaking and, you know, him reloading and, you know, all that. It just sounds so clear and sharp. You hear every sound in, like individually. I don't really know how to like explain it. It's cool. Oh yeah, I can't do this without an explosion. 